What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Matt and today I'm back at it again with another reaction video for y'all and today we have Scariest Wild Animal Encounters Now from the looks of this video They in a cage with some lines on the outside You got the female line and you got a male line on top and another male line in the front along with a female line And you got a, a white man and a white lady in the cage I don't know why people do stuff like this not me, I don't care if I'm in a cage or not I wouldn't go out there in the middle of South Africa I guarantee you this in Africa Doing something like this You gotta be outside of your mind But hey, let's go ahead and get to the video And let's check it out Look how the lion looking He already licking his lips Let me go ahead and turn this up one time Oh, I tore up some. <laughs> The amazing experience is located in South Africa. Look how he's looking, bro. He ready to eat something up. Man, you can get up close and personal looking at the king of the beast. Nah, ain't nobody getting no up close and personal. Look at him. Bro, now imagine if their cage wasn't there. Look how he looking down in there. He looking like it. I'm going to put the dark meat in this pile and the white meat in this pile. Remember that scene from uh, Ice Age when he said, I'm going to put the dark meat in this pile and the white meat in that pile? A huge gray white shark gave an up-close insight. As the shark chomps down right in front of the camera. Why are you out there in the ocean in the first place? Stay your hands on land where you're supposed to be at. Humans are made for the land. It's a terrifying moment that stampede a bison crashed into a car. That what humans get. Why y'all like to mess with wildlife? See, uh, this one thing about the situation with the bison incident. Why do they have a road going up there, through there with a the bison? They know the bison go through there. And be up through that every day. Why do they have a, Why did they made a man-made road where you can travel up through that? That's the stupidest shit ever. They should have just kept that a big field and let all them bison out there roam freely. Because humans love to destroy shit. You, you know that you see what happened to the world now. Anything a human put their hands on, they want to destroy and get rid of it. If they not destroying it, they capturing it and torturing it and experimenting on it. But hey... Let's go ahead and get back to the video. The bison didn't care what was in their way. I don't blame them. They ain't never seen nothing different. They ain't never seen nothing like that before in their life. They animals. That's a whole damn fake ass vehicle. Oh my god, the whole hood is crushed. The car is plastic is over there. Oh, he getting his head whooped. Stomp him out. Bro, that uh, this is the insane moment a huge outrage ostrich starts a fight with an unexpected man. Nah, bro. First of all, pause it. Hold on. Wait, wait. Pause the damn thing. Bro, how you go saying a huge outrage ostrich started a fight with a man? The ostrich didn't start the fight. The ostrich in his own habitat where he belonged. He walked his head out there in that bird habitat interfering in his space. But you got the audacity to say the bird started a fight. He started a fight. You should have stayed where you was at. Why are you going out there messing with the bird? Why are you all out there in that bird domain? There were wrong people out They invade other places and go to other places and then want to put the blame on the shit that attacked them. This is like going in a jungle or uh, going where a uh, pride of lines at. And then you get a then you get attacked, and they say uh the lions invaded his space. Nah, bro, you invaded a space. Now look at you. You got flip back, fell over some big ass sticks. And now you got a close to a two hundred pound ostrich stomping you out. You can't do nothing. Plus you got your shirt tucked in with blue jeans on, look like dad jeans with Crocs or whatever he got on, and he can't do nothing. You getting your ass whooped by a big ass bird? Nah, bro, you should have ran. You would have had a much chance of running. You might would have got hogged down, but hey, look at him getting stomped out. He can't do nothing. Give him some foot. No, well, then he sat down on him. My goodness. That bird going straight for the vitality. 
And Brave Dow puts his hand under a grip. Bro, they doing too much. Look at him, bro. Keep your hands off the damn thing. He got jammed in there. He looked like he was jammed in me. on the water in the first place. This massive line has decided he wants to take the ride in his in this car. That's a minivan, bro. Bro, look how big the damn line is to pass to the whip. I think the pass in one hand is to get... Bro, now nah, imagine if he break the back side of that window with them big ass paws. Bro, them paws are all no big around in your head. Now imagine he put more pressure and more force on it than what he doing. The back end of that uh, window break, you done for. He go get in there, he go have some lunch and then you can't get out. Cause if you get out, you got a female line waiting on you. You about to get, turn into some dead duck flambe. Cause the chaos along the way. He ain't cause no chaos. All he doing is just running in front of the vehicle. This rhino doesn't seem to know the rules of the road. He got head buddies. Curious about a diver filming himself amongst the marine life lemon shark. A lemon shark? Bruh. Bro, look how deep he is now, nah, bruh. Hell no, let me go back on him. Hey. Bro, what is he doing? He said he. Let's go back, let's go back. Bruh, I just clicked the fucking back button. What is. Hey. Take your ass back, video. That thing trying to cheat me. Look at that. Look how deep he is, bro. Hell no. You too deep in the water going down there on the ocean floor. Bro, you in the tree running from some rhinoceros with her calf. To make sure he was uh, she was protecting her calf from any human. I don't blame her. They don't know you. These farmers was just going about their day. Y'all don't believe that. They wasn't just going about their day. They out there causing a ruckus. And sitting a water buffalo out there. Them buffalo be on some aid. Hey, them buffalo roofless, bro. Hey, they, they got some good memory, too, of them buffaloes. Because I seen on the uh, animal planet a lion be attacking a, uh, some buffalo. Them buffaloes come back at the line and be fucking them up. While taking a stroll through that wilderness, I, why are you out there on foot? That's the worst thing to do. Frank B. Bear noted a magnificent looking black rhino. Get him, rhino. Stomp him out. However, the majestic creature started charging straight toward him. Get him. Can't do nothing. You fall. That's your ass, bro. Get him, rhino. Stomp him out, bro. I'm just waiting on him. Bro, I'm waiting for the rhino to whoop his ass. Get him. Nah, bro, you doing too much. First of all, hell no, nah, nah, bro, we ain't, uh, hold up. First of all, bro, why in the hell is you out there on your two feet and not in a vehicle out there in the middle of Africa with a camera just walking out freely and don't think nothing gonna get at you? A rhino especially. Now, imagine you taking off running and you slip and fall you can't do nothing. That's your ass. You go get, you go get trampled to death. Do you them things weigh a ton, right? They weigh about, I say, I know for about one or two tons, two thousand pounds of pure strength. You can't do nothing with that. You get hit in your chest, your whole chest cave in. You won't catch me under no water out there filming. What's up with white, white, white people? I gotta ask them. What's up with y'all out there going deep underwater, want to film everything? Stay your ass on land. We don't have lungs. We can't survive down there. And we don't need to be down there digging up stuff. I think they drill in the ocean for all, right? Why the hell is you out there drilling in the ocean for all? Why you think all the earthquakes are happening? A lot of people don't realize all the earthquakes are happening because of people digging for all. They dig for all, all up on land. I know y'all know a lot of places out here where they dig all out and get all. And what happens is when they get this all, they don't fill up them cracks. And they go cause fracking. And once fracking happens, it go cause all these big ass earthquakes. You seeing how Antarctica is uh, flooding. You seeing how all these pieces of ice, ice breaking off uh, pieces of Antarctica. 
I watch in 10 years the uh, South is going to be flooding the border of Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, all this shit going to be flooded. Because once that ice break off, uh, continue breaking off Antarctica, the sea level go rise. But hey, if you like my reaction to the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. The original link to the video will be down below. Without that being said, stay safe out there. Your boy out. Peace.